This is the hardest offense to stop in Madden 24. Break yourself, fool! It has explosive run plays. Unstoppable glitch routes all over the field. I'm wide open, wide open. And one play touchdowns versus every defense in the game. Thank you. Windows tinted on my ride, but I drive it. So if you want to see what brand new offense I'm using to get results like this, stick around after the intro. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. The plays from today's video can once again be found in my Chicago Bears offensive and Las Vegas Raiders defensive ebooks. If you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my ebooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top hand comment. In today's video, I'm using America's team, the Detroit Lions, because we all know that if your favorite team is out, this is the team you're rooting for right now, as they are trying to do what the Packers couldn't do and get to the Super Bowl this weekend. But before I get into the video, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content and want to see more, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel and i appreciate the support i start this game out on offense and you know it's going to be a high scoring game when i walk the opening kickoff right back through the middle untouched for a return touchdown That's why I always kick it to the corner of the end zone. The defense that I'll be using in today's video is once again my 3-3 odd scheme that I made several videos about recently, but I'll be focusing mostly on offense in this video, so if you guys want to learn more about this defense, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video. And you can see that this man defense is hard to get a yard against as we force a quick fourth and long before we switch to zone coverage and give it up. Yeah. I switch to the blitz on the next play and we get a stop for losses on the next two runs. <laughs> as we push him back to a third and 15 before going back to man cover one and lurking the only crossing around the area for an easy interception gotcha, bitch. to take over in scoring range. The offensive formation I'm going to be showing you guys today is the single back tight Y off flex. I just made a full practice mode style breakdown of this offense, so if you guys want to see more plays, I will have links in the description as well as on screen at the end of the video once again. The best plays that I keep my audibles can change, but I start with the halfback zone week for my inside run and the jet sweep for my outside run, but I also switch to the O1 trap from time to time for my inside run as well as they're both really good and my passing plays are the shallow cross and the under z curl which will give me one play touchdowns and dink and dunk plays against every defense in the game for my fifth active play i always come out in the halfback stretch as this is the play that i will use the most and i will sometimes want to run it right away before my opponent has a chance to set up their defense the best way to run this play however is the motion across the tight end into a bunch look like this so that creates a wall of blockers that i just have to sprint around i recovered through the next play so i switch to the under z curl and try to hit the corner route but the accuracy isn't there i recover two on the next play though so i go right back to it as this tight end gets open right up the middle as long as i motion out the x receiver and put him on a fade to pull back the safety and now i just have to wait for him to clear that linebacker break yourself fool as we split the safeties to take a big lead on defense i'm going to switch to my prevent cover four and you know what they say Prevent prevents you from winning, as he has the best drive of the game before I guess passed at the wrong time, making everyone slower and blocked easier, and he makes two crazy juke moves to take it to the house untouched from almost 50 yards out. Damn it! But I gotta give him credit, that was a hell of a run. One of the best passing plays to use for short yardage passing situations is the shallow cross, especially on a hash mark like I am right now, as you can create two hard to stop passing concepts out of this play. All you have to do is motion across the B receiver to turn him into a corner route and then streak the Y receiver to pull back any deep zones in the area and the corner route will get open underneath just about any zone coverage. But you can also drag the tight end to give yourself double drag routes which will get open against anything man or zone as the corner route gets knocked down at the start of the play That's my fight, huh? and I have to default to the dragging check down. I recover through in the next play and try to set up a one play touchdown, but I didn't do the setup right, so I get to third and seven right away. So I go right back to the exact same play, only this time I know it's cover three since there's a single high safety look and no one followed the motion receiver across. So instead of double drags, I put the X receiver on a flat route, which is another look that will get open against any zone coverage, especially if you throw it right away. And if I would have ran this play to the open side of the field, I probably could have just ran wide for the first down. But I call a hurry up in fourth and one before seeing what looks like a 
man zero blitz, so I switched to the jet sweep and decided to run around it. And it worked perfectly as there was nothing out here except his user as he followed the motion and he made me work for every inch of that yard. But if it wasn't for him, I probably would have had a touchdown. I get a penalty on the next play while trying to set up another one play touchdown before doing it again on the very next play. But it turns out to be cover three, so I take the streak up the seam instead. I try to bomb it up against his cover zero on the next play, but it's overthrown before he shuts down my stretch run to force a third and 10. So I motion out the running back and put him on a 10 yard out route to keep the drive alive. He goes back to cover zero in the next play, so I switch to the under Z curl one more time as this corner route destroys just about any man coverage, especially to the open side of the field like I am here. And if I had my fastest receiver running this route, it probably would have been a touchdown as he somehow took a good angle and kept me out of the end zone, which is fine by me as I want to run down some clock before halftime anyway. As he blows up my jet sweep in the backfield, I see cover zero once again on the next play, so I go back to the under Z curl for that corner route one more time, only this time I motion the X receiver across to isolate him and give the defense a new look as we get down to the one yard line. I call a hurry up to keep him in this defense before realizing that he doesn't even have any timeouts. So while I wait for the clock to tick down, I think to myself, maybe I should call a timeout and punch him with the QB sneak as I feel like he's going to run commit from here anyways. But that wouldn't look good for the intro of my video, so I run it and sure enough he ran commit dropping me for a loss. Too far away for the quarterback sneak now. On the next play, it looks like cover three or possibly man cover one, so I switch to the jet sweep once again as it should be able to get a few yards against either one of these defenses. But he is using this route like crazy once again as he gets me on a delayed Superman tackle and I barely get in for the score with 11 seconds left going into half. He gets the ball after half, and we are making Superman tackles too, buddy, as he is passing on every play down two scores late before my defenders set a huge pick on each other Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, special needs. To let Christian Watson get wide open and take it all the way to the house to keep it a ball game. And now I need another score to put this game away. I switch to the halfback zone weak and make that exact same tight end motion for better blocking as this helps pretty much with every run play. I do that motion again on the next play and pass this time, but I just don't trust it. <laughs> so I try to extend the play and take off with Goff for the first before getting another delay a game penalty. I try to run the stretch again on the next play and end up losing two more before I read what looks like a cover three. One of my favorite things about this offense is that it has several cover three one play touchdowns from different areas of the field and the under Z curl is probably my favorite as all you have to do is run this play from a hash mark to the short side of the field like I am here motion out the running back and put him and the B receiver on phase to pull back the safety I put the X receiver on a flat for a check down just in case I'm wrong and now all I have to do is watch for one of these safeties to drop down before bullet and pass leading away from the single high safety he could go all the way as we drop it right over his user for the catch and run score. And now I just have to protect my two score lead to put this game away. But these cornerbacks in Detroit are trash as he just bombs it up to his much faster receiver Christian Watson. As I was playing off man coverage, I don't know what else I could do there. I could dink and dunk here to try to kill some clock and put the game away, but I want one more one play touchdown for the intro. So I continue to try to bomb it up, but I made another bad read and got an even worse throw this time. Oops! And now it comes down to my defense to hold the game. I'm not running any more of these man coverages after that last bomb, so I switch to the cover four and get him into a third and inches on the ground before he picks it up with the tush push to get into the fourth quarter. And this guy is just slowly getting closer to the tying score before I see that Texas route developing from the running back underneath. <laughs> and I jump all over for my second user lurk of the game for what would have been a pick six if he didn't pull the ripcord. So that's that's the video. If you guys want to see more plays from the offense or defense that I was using in this gameplay, I'll have links to them popping up on screen. And until next time, thanks for watching, man. Mush it out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.